So friends, in this video, we are going to learn about Lao Tzu, who was a Chinese traditional philosopher and writer who also became the foundation stone of the Chinese religion of Taoism, who can help us carve the path of our lives. So let's take knowledge from all of these teachings and how we can implement these teachings and what do they actually mean in our lives. So friends, my name is Gurpreet Singh. I'm a life coach and let's start this video. The number one teaching of Taoism is that when I let go of what I am, I might become what I can actually be. So the meaning of this is very deep. Usually we all have a lot of labels given to us by outside people, people around us, or we also ourselves give a lot of labels to our own self. Like we feel guilty of doing so many things, not doing so many things. We label ourselves as black and white, good or bad, honest, dishonest. We label ourselves with respect to several psychological disorders also. We label ourselves as our belief system that I will do this, I will not do this. I am such a person or such things happen with me. Certain belief system about myself, my life or situations of my life, I have somewhere labeled them as being good or bad or being acceptable or not acceptable. Just think about it that if you actually let go of all of these belief systems and names that you have given to yourself, your life scenarios, your life circumstances or your life situations, then you actually can ask yourself a question that what do I want to be or what do I intend to be or what is my life goal or life purpose or what should I do? When you are free of all of these labels, only then you can realize your true self. Second teaching of Taoism is that when you accept yourself, you are content with yourself, you don't compare yourself with others or you don't compete, then everyone will respect you. And, and that is what we all need or we dream of or we are constantly having this thing in mind that everyone should love me, respect me, care about me have affection towards me people should be good towards me but usually we are not good towards our own self we are constantly judging our own self our own actions and we are also punishing ourselves for our past mistakes we lack that self-love appreciation acceptance that we don't give to our own self that creates a void that emptiness and when that emptiness is not filled we want it from the other person in the form of validation our relationships our parents our spouse and this leads to a lot of disappointment so when we start accepting our own self have respect for our own self automatically it shows in your personality and you are no more needy and asking for validation again and again and people give it to you abundantly automatically third teaching of taoism is that the one who tries to shine he dims his own light now you were to ask that if i don't try to shine or if i don't try to improve myself how will i showcase myself in the external world now shining here or trying to shine here means people who specifically show that they are superior to other people or those who show that they are dominant or they are powerful among other people and they try to show this fake shine to other people and if you show this fake shine you lose your opportunity to actually improve in your life because you feel that you have reached your destination you have reached your goal and there is nothing else to achieve and then you start dominating people start controlling people and that is where you stop your self work and this is not a good thing fourth teaching is that the one who defines himself does not know who he is okay we all define ourselves with a caste with a culture with a religion with an outer appearance we define ourselves in so many ways as rich as poor and when we define ourselves we lose the opportunity of what better we could be as humans we have divided ourselves into so many caste and creeds that it becomes so difficult for us to actually understand the human part of us that we all are one we all are flesh and bones and there is no difference between any one of us in order to be whatever you want to be or actually know your true potential or your true self you have to stop defining yourself as something and stop belonging to a crew fifth teaching of taoism is that silence is a great source of strength 
usually when people show their strength they show it by shouting at other people yelling at other people throwing things at other people showing that anger that rage but usually if you want silence if you want peace you want the peace for the other person also and for yourself also you know that how much bitter you feel after doing all of these things and you feel guilty you feel heavy you feel that you have wasted your energy and inside you are always burning when you actually yell so much you shout so much when you are in silence you have two benefits first is the situation has been given time to repair the other person also does not react immediately you also don't react immediately and you get time to self introspect about the issue about the problem and learn about the problem solving strategies that you can utilize to get over this issue and it also saves a lot of energy and that is also a sign of maturity Sixth teaching is that if you want something to shrink you should let it expand if you want to get rid of something you should allow it to flourish and if you want to take something you must first allow it to be given to explain this in a easier way i would like to tell you that most of us constantly hate some or the other part of our own self and we are constantly covering it up with some or the other thing we are not owning up to what we are or who we are and we feel guilty about this try accepting your flaws as they are okay when you realize that you have flaws and you accept them as they are specifically only then you can find them and work on them and get rid of them if you keep brushing it under the carpet or keep avoiding your issues of your life specifically also and if you don't let it come on the surface you will never be able to get rid of them seventh teaching of taoism is that new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings and if you are right now in your life going through a painful situation a health issue an issue related to your finances a painful emotional issue in your life so hold on stay strong because this is just an ending of a phase of your life and there is light at the end of the tunnel waiting for you specifically and there could be new beginnings in your life so just hold on to this pain and very soon things will get better in your life A teaching of Lao Tzu or Taoism, which is my best teaching ever, which I want to share with you, is specifically care about people's approval, and you will always be their prisoner. Okay, if you want to always be controlled by other people, you want the other people to have your remote control of your life, of your emotions, of your happiness, of your sadness. Allow yourself to be affected by their judgment. If you allow yourself to be affected by their judgment, you will always be a prisoner in your life. Why? Because your happiness. or your sadness or your irritation or your frustration or the way you feel about yourself depends on what they tell about you what they say about you how they judge you how they perceive you and what names or labels they give you and if you want to get rid of all of this don't just pay attention to your haters and just continue to do the good work ninth tip of taoism is that if you don't change your direction ultimately you will end up to the destination where you are heading at now if you think this you will feel that it is very contradictory people tell us to achieve our goals or chase our goals but this is telling us to change our direction now this is with respect to difficult scenarios in your life or problems in your life specifically when you are going in the wrong direction when you are maybe expecting too much from someone or maybe you are going towards addictions or maybe you are going towards a life which is of not financial stability or maybe you are taking a decision that is wrong and if you continue to walk on this path it will lead to you reaching this destination which is not your destination you are not intended to be in this destination it is not right for you so whenever you are in the wrong direction always be mindful about what direction you should choose should you change your direction or should you revisit your life's priorities and decisions and what changes can you make then teaching of taoism is that the wise person is the person who knows that what he does not know so life is not about knowing everything i cannot claim to know everything you cannot claim to know everything we all are on this phase of learning if you know what you don't know you can always learn this and it will also help you grow as an individual so always be open to learning and agreeing that i do not know this i want to learn this i am not an expert in this and it's okay to accept that sometimes you are at fault and you require learning last but not the least Lao Tzu says that once you realize that you have had enough then you are truly rich. 
so being rich is not about the buying balance that you have the cars that you have the commodities and luxuries that you have it actually depends specifically on what do you feel internally are you craving for more are you always burning with that desire that i need more i need to upgrade i need to be become better then you are a prisoner of your desires and if you feel that whatever i have i am content with that you have contentment then you are truly rich so friends these were some teachings of taoism and lao tzu make sure that you try to implement these in your life for a better life for a happy life and for a spiritual upliftment so friends this is it for the video if you like the video please share and subscribe and keep watching life coach